Today is your last day, your final day, to help choose Minnesota's state fossil. And trust us, got some pretty spectacular options. From a giant beaver to the mammoth itself, make sure to make your voice heard. This is where you can do it. Join us from the Science Museum of Minnesota is paleontology lab manager Nicole Dzinowski. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, thank you for having me. So you have been loving dinosaurs for a long time since you were a kid. Yes. And you've seen the movie? Jurassic Park. How many um, times? Oh, hundreds of times, of course. <laughs> Just had to get that out. Yes, <laughs> hundreds right. of times. I was surprised to learn that a lot of states have a state fossil and we need we just didn't. Yeah, um, Minnesota is actually just one of seven states that doesn't have a state fossil. Um, we have tried to get a fossil passed before. Okay. Um, in 1988, we actually did attempt to get this guy right here, which is our giant beaver, Castorides, um, passed through the legislative. Um, it did not work. Um, so we are attempting again now. Maybe this is the year. So you're yes. asking everybody to vote online, and the final day of voting is today. Yes. So and you've brought some cool fossils with you. And should we go down the line? Yeah, start for down sure. here? Yeah, that'll work. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that right there is Homotherium. Um, so Homotherium is also known as a scimitar tooth cat. So it is going to be sort of closely related to the saber tooth cat. Okay. Um, however, it is, it is different. Um, they do have the shorter teeth. They tend to be a little bit more curved. Um, so this particular specimen, uh, the back of the skull was actually found in a cave in Fillmore County. I was going to say, these lived here. Yeah, oh yeah, this every single fossil okay. that we have um, as a candidate lived in Minnesota, has been found in Minnesota. Okay. Wow, really cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is this one here? Because we're, we're gonna, th these are Latin names, as we discussed. And well, you should have us try to say them first. Oh wait, I don't. Because that that's one just in there. fun. Yeah. yeah. Nope, so there. I'm going to. I'll use the common name um, for a lot of these guys too. So this is actually just a single molar from a Colombian mammoth. Wait. Oh, that's a that's a tooth. Yes. That is it. Wow. That is yeah. not what I was so expecting. I'm gonna pick this guy up. So this right here would be the chewing surface, the flattened surface, um, and this here would be the roots. Wow, okay. okay, so that's just one single tooth of yes. a woolly mammoth. And where, do you know where that one was found? Um, this one I'm not 100% sure about. Uh, woolly mammoths in the state are found in um, central and southern Minnesota. Okay, so. amazing. Yeah. It's just a big tooth. A, I just, I'm like, <laughs> just a good idea of how large they were, okay? Yes. All right, uh, here is a giant beaver skull. Yes. You just read that off there. Yes, yes I no. did. Did you know? Yes. Could you tell? So this right here is Castorides. So Castorides is a giant beaver. This particular specimen was found in Blaine. Um, so they are found in the Twin City areas and in southern Minnesota. Um, the Science Museum does have an, a full skeleton of these guys so you can get a good oh, idea cool. of how big they actually were. So they weighed between two and three hundred pounds. I don't know. I feel like I'm glad we don't have giant beavers anymore. No. <laughs> no. They're, sorry, is that bad? Um, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? Giant animals are kind of scary. Their teeth are huge. It's That's insane. what I'm looking exactly. at right now, just yes. thinking like, I don't want to come in, or my dog to come in contact yes, with that. Yeah, for okay. sure. Um, but I do think they would be really cuddly and cute. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're, they're every very animal with their babies. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, sure. and the baby giant. Beaver. I'm very partial to, to rodents, but. Okay, this okay. is good to know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are we ending with it? Oh, so these are amazing. So these are our stromatolites. Um, this is the oldest fossil that is found in Minnesota. So these guys are going to be about 1.9 to 2 billion years old. Wow. Which is absurd. It is insane that Minnesota has such a rich fossil history and that our geologic past goes back that far. Um, so these are actually cyanobacteria. So they are single-celled organisms that make an algal mat. Um, and the really great thing about these is that they are responsible for most of the oxygen that we have in the atmosphere today, the reason that we are here today. So these are some of the very first photosynthesizing organisms that produced oxygen. Okay, and these are just a, a section of them. There's more up for votes. Yes, correct? yes. Okay. So this is four of the nine candidates that we have, all of them found in Minnesota. Um, all of them are found from different areas of Minnesota, and they go from 2 billion years old to um, most recently somewhere around 10,000 years old. So, so we vote, mm -hmm. yeah. then what happens next? Yes, so once you guys vote, today's the last day to vote. On October 13th, National Fossil Day, the Science Museum will announce the winner. And then these, um, whoever wins will be moved through the legislative process and hopefully we will have a new fossil for you guys soon. We've been, it sounds like we've been trying for uh, a couple of decades now. So yes. It, it's time, I have a feeling this is going to be the year. Yes, People for sure. get in there and there's a reason because of course it's, it's important to our state's history mm -hmm. and um, obviously the science world. Yes, and it, it helps us forge a connection with the state. Minnesota has so many things to love about it and this is just another thing to love. Hey, so. Secretly, who do you want to win? 
did I you vote for? for the, I voted for the beaver. Oh, see? I have such a soft spot. Everyone talks about how I pet it. I have such a soft spot <laughs> for it. I love you know, all of these fossils, but they're all deserving. They're all amazing in their own ways. Love but your passion about your work. Yes, Nicole absolutely. loves the giant beaver. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yes. Well, thanks for joining us. And by we talked about this, the voting ends tonight. So make your voice heard at SMN, SMM.org. Yes. Yeah, and if you missed any of today's fossil facts, you can post, or we're going to post them, not you posting them. We will. Today's segment, it'll be on our Facebook page.